exponents, if x is the product of the positive integers from 1 to 9, inclu inclusive, and if i, k, m, and p are positive integers such that x equals this stuff, then the sum of these exponents must be what? All right, so the idea is you multiply 9 factorial, um, which is basically 9 times 8 times 7 all the way to 1, and then that number, you want to convert that to this form and then add up all the exponents. So looking at this, you first convert 9 factorial um, to base 2, 3, 5, 7. That's always a first step. So how do you do that? You, you write it out first, right? You write it out and then you convert them to base 2, 3, 5, and 7. Well, you have 1 times 2 to the first, 3 to the first, 4 is the base the same thing as 2 to the second, 5 is just 5 to the first, 6 is just 2 times 3, right? They're both to the 1 power, 7 to the first, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the third, 9 is the same thing as 3 to the second. And then your next step is just to add up all the um, exponents. Now you could, you know, normally just do add up all the ones with 2s, with base 2, add up all the ones with base 3, and, and so on. But the question is, what's i plus k plus m plus p? That's basically what is the sum of all the exponents. Um, now, we only used base 2, 3, 5, and 7. We didn't use any other bases. So all we got to do is add up all the exponents. So that, sh yeah, so that should be pretty easy. Um, you can just look at this. Um, your next step is just adding them up. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 so you just add up all of these and then you get 13 so after doing this analysis you add them up you get 13 and it's asking you what is the sum that's your answer e 13 so the strategy to this question is you pay attention to what they're looking for they're looking for what is the sum of the exponents when you have base 2 3 5 7 your first step is to convert everything to base 2, 3, 5, 7, um, and it definitely helps to write out what you're talking about, 9 factorial, um, the multiplication, reducing each of these factors into base 2, 3, 5, and 7, and then once you do that, add up all the exponents. And when you do that, your answer becomes answer choice E, 13.